Hello, in this video we're going to look at the mean and the variance of the log normal distribution, more specifically derive the mean and the variance. Here is the uh, PDF of the log normal distribution, its domain is positive numbers, the parameters mu and sigma are positive. So first let's see, let's prove that it is a PDF, which means integrated over its uh, domain and it should equal 1. So then we plug in our, our PDF here. We bring out the values that are, that are constants in regards to x. That now let's make a variable change. y equals log x. And then uh, you can back solve for x. x is equal e to the y. dx is equal e to the y dy. Now we take this and plug it in here. And we get this. So 1 over x, x is e to the y, we plug in y here, and then dx is ey dy. So this e dy and that one cancel, leaves this and that. Now let's bring this, this piece back in, that's what this is. Well that looks exactly like a normal distribution, and we know that it integrates to 1. And so that's where we get the 1. Um, so now, so here, another thing is uh, the limits here, just another, when we plug in 0, actually we can't plug in 0, but as 0, as it approaches 0, this goes to negative infinity, and then we put in positive infinity, that goes to positive infinity, so that's where we get this. And another note that we're going to make use of is that once we transform this to y, it becomes a normal distribution with mean mu and, and variance sigma squared. And so we're going to make use of that in our derivations of the mean below, which is this. So let's look at the mean. So let's find the expected value of x. But if we make this transformation, x is equal e to the y, and we know y is normally distributed, then when we go from here to here, then we only then we need to take its its expectation in regards to y. Now, one interesting tidbit and something that I'm not going to cover here, perhaps do a video on it. Look up Lotus L O T U S as as in far as statistics. It's called the law of the unconscious statistician. When we uh, what it says is normally we would have to use when we find the mean of x we put x and then the we use the PDF of x but and then when we take the expected value of here then we'd have to find the PDF of e to the y and then and then you plug in e to the y and then evaluate over the the domain but the law of the unconscious statistician says that now really you just need to look at whatever that distribution is which we noted to be normal so we put we plug this in and then times it times a normal density which is this um, yeah look up lotus if you if you've not heard about it um, so now we integrate this and we we can take we can add the exponents here and so I divide by 2 sigma squared and multiply by 2 sigma squared. And um, so that's what uh, we get. That's this with that. And of course, we multiply that out and we collected like terms. And we get this. So now let's try to complete the square on this, these, this piece here. So if we... Um, Yeah, so to complete the square, we, we divide this by 2 and then square it, and then it comes a complete square. But if we add it, we have to subtract it, and then this mu squared was already here. And then since this is to an exponent, we can take e, you know, we can take these with e out because they're, they don't have a, a y. They're constant in regards to the y. So this step is here the exponents from this piece that was left over and then the the perfect square comes down 
Well, this here is a normal distribution um, with mean sigma squared plus mu variant sigma squared. So we know a normal distribution integrates to one, so whatever's left over is what we have. And then this, um, when you multiply this out and then cancel the mu squares, bring in the, bring up, divide by two sigma squared, we get this. So e to the sigma squared over two plus mu is the mean. Now the second moment, we will do something similar. We'll use the uh, law of the unconscious statistician to go from here to here. Um, and then we'll we plug this in with the normal distribution as opposed to this with the log normal distribution. And we get this. And we're going to do the same technique. We're going to combine the exponents, collect, expand that, collect like terms, complete the square, which is what this is. And um, these are constants, so we can move them out front. That pulls in. This becomes a normal distribution, leaving just this constant out front. Uh, simplify it, we get this. So that's the second moment. Now to find the variance, it's the expected value of x squared times the mean quantity squared. So we plug in those values. Now here, um, well between the two, this is um, sigma squared plus 2u, and we factor out one of those here. Um, I guess what we do is we simplify that to this. Since it's sigma squared plus sigma squared 2 mu, we can rewrite it like this, that comes down, then it's more evident that we can factor that out and we're left with this. And that's the variance of a logistic regression. Well, that's all I have for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.